the vehicle will not start. Uh, we're checking the fuel pressure and see if we have fuel pressure. Uh, they're led to believe that it could be the fuel pump that could be in the problem. And that's what we're going to do a diagnostic on and find out and see if, it's, if it is the fuel pump that's a problem or not. What we did is we hooked up a gauge, a pressure gauge, and it goes right here to the fuel rail. It has like a, a, a service valve right here where we're able to hook up with a hose and come out straight to the gauge up here. We're going to turn on the key and it's at the uh, ignition key on it's supposed to have 50 to 60 pounds of PSI of fuel pressure coming to the uh, engine. That would allow the injectors to open up and the vehicle to start as long as there's sufficient pressure and fuel pressure of course. Uh, let's turn on the key and let's find out see what we got. As you can see, as you can see, we do not have any pressure at all. Uh, it's it, it ain't reading the 50 that it needs to have, which is the minimum, and the 60 that it needs to have to be ma to maintain start. Uh, let's let's check it out and let's see what's going on and just do an accurate check about where the problem could be. On this 2008 Chevrolet Malibu 2.4, it has a fuse box in the rear and the trunk. We're going to check the power, uh, the fuses, and make sure that the fuses are not blown. Also, we're going to check the uh, fuel pressure relay and make sure that it's working correctly. If them two check out uh, and there, there is no fuse that's blown and the relay is good, then it leaves me no other choice but to believe that uh, we have a bad fuel pump. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure we got power. And if we do got power, and then we know that the problem is most likely going to be the fill pump. So let's get checking. I'm going to use a test light to be able to test this and I'm going to ground it right here to the uh, hood latch. That's my ground and this is my tester. The first thing I'm going to do is probe with the ignition key on. I'm going to probe this fuse. It's reading that it has 10.2 volts on this side which is good. That tells me it's got power and I'm going to probe the other side of the pin of the fuse and that that as well is showing me that there's power going to that fuse. There is no blown fuse. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to start the vehicle. I'm going to put my finger right here and just feel, see if the relay is kicking on when the vehicle is trying to start. Go ahead and try to start it. Okay, it did click, and it's, all, it's also clicked off. When uh, the initial start starts, the relay will click, and after you, you're, you're not trying to start it, it has a three second delay. You can actually count to one, two, and three, and it will click again, letting you know that it's disabled the fuel pump. That tells me that there's no questions whatsoever. The fuel pump is a problem. We're gonna go ahead and change the fuel pump.